Missoula flood, the theory is that you had a great glacially dammed lake. The ice dam gave way, and this happened, repeat, like you said, repeatedly. Up right? to 80 times, apparently. Up to 80 times, yeah. which personally I think is ridiculous. Me too. Okay. But the Bonneville flood, you had this gigantic lake over 20,000 square miles. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bonneville salt flats. How many of you guys know what the, the Bonneville salt flats where they test? Yeah. So that was the lake bottom. And if you're traveling in, say, uh, Salt Lake City, if you look uh, to the east up on the Wasatch Mountains, you're going to see two great shorelines etched. One of them is a thousand feet above the valley floor, and that was the depth of this temporary gigantic lake that formed. It rose up. I suspect that there was probably a seismic event, fractured a sedimentary rock dam to the north. That gave way, and over the next three to four months, 350 feet of water drained out. And so when you see the two shorelines, you see one that's above roughly a, a, a thousand feet above the valley floor, and then about 350 feet below that, you see a second shoreline. So this flood wound its way through, carved out the Snake River Canyon, carved, over deepened Hell's Canyon, and then I believe met the Missoula floodwaters 